You wanna do it, guys? Oh, don't be cold. Don't be cold. My wife sent the apple cart and it's keeping me safe, right? That is the struggle. Protecting ourselves or others. I don't mind that. If there is a question of trust into all of the stories of this episode, where is it for you? Ah, maybe you're right there. Nice <laughs> truck. Not your business. Yes, Sorry, we're in the engine, but it doesn't run. She sure is clean for a truck that just sits here. But they used they not so long ago? No wonder she won't work. The starter relay's disconnected. Let's test it out. Let's see if I've got the magic touch. You proved what? That they used the car? It's gonna be their words against yours. They cut something else somewhere else? <laughs> See all of what they are doing with this story, you know, into this episode, Lance attacking them, all of that. They are building a tension, they are building a suspense. We are afraid, we are like that. They didn't do it during the last episode with Arsha and Nika. I can handle them from here. Thanks for I already pulled you out of work. What's a few more minutes? It's for an animal? That you did all of that? I got a debt to repay. It's my patient already here. I don't understand. You have an illegal clinic. I want to apologize. Um, I got a special sense for somebody's not okay. My first hand experience. You do. I killed two of my men. Then I covered it up. You did? I thought I'd be that guy. That's not how I came up. That's not how my parents raised me. I had certain lines that I didn't let myself cross. It's that which it's really changed things for you, the fact that you had to kill your men and all of the other ones who died and you didn't react. I'll do it again. I spent a long time, all my life, trying to keep it together, safe, solid for everyone else. I am good. No. And it worked. Got us this far. Maybe I'm part of the problem. For now, but you can be part of the solution. For now, he is part of the problem. He's obeying blindly to others. He's not doing anything with the secrets he knows. Why don't we go inside? And we figure it out together. Please. What? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hey. Don't approach Push. the boy. Right? I'm Lance. The last thing I want personally is for something to happen here. You're threatening so, them? The boy? So if I can get the truth, I can fix things. Like he's gonna do. snitch on his mom. But about his mom. I can't keep people safe. So I want you to think really hard here. Is there anything you want to tell me? No, he's not gonna say anything. I should probably go get my mom. Hey, hold on a second. Let that boy. It's funny. I found this hat all the way back when the bad things happened. You're ashamed for a nice hat like this to go to waste. I'll be damned. Perfect fit. It can be just a coincidence. You're threatening the kid. Good call, Elijah. Oh, 
Maybe I'm just making a mistake of threatening my family. I'm still going to be dead now. And you turned this place upside down and you found nothing. So unless you want to die for nothing, time to drop the guns before something really fucking bad happens. You have to obey. You did not find anything. Everyone on your weapons. That's in order. You tried. You searched the place. You tried to play with their nerves. Right there to manipulate the little Back boy. Up. Sorry if there was any miscommunication. Shame we couldn't be friends. No. His eyes. The actor is perfect really for that role. Only him being like that and looking at someone like that and... They're real, you're supposed to go with them. If we can't give them the killers, what about those guns? You find them, you give your vices some time. Well, it's a big movie. You're gonna give them Leo? You did good. Leo did most of the hard work. Bad, didn't it? I'm feeling proud, I'm feeling glad, I'm feeling happy. It must feel really good. Hmm? Two that warm. Something sucking. That you can't have the same. The years. The darkness. In the midst of everything, you were sitting here glowing. So you are so calm. Some light darkness is heavy. Some of us carry more than others. Because we're strong enough to hold the weight. Who's the strongest? Hey. You make the light kill. You know we're not getting back together. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you keep saying that. Yeah. It's my to sense it. Move her, it'll be too late. I can do this. Trust me. I know you can. How can we help? Ezekiel, take over biting. You're helping him right. to make a surgery yeah. on someone? It's a little too much, though. No? The fact that the writers now are taking Same. time to show us that scene, it means what? It's to show us what? It's difficult to make surgery with oh, these no conditions. If the stuff that you mentioned is happening here, it's that the idea of continuing to sneak around just when I had hoped that things might go back to normal. But normal right there is not good. Maybe I'm not built for this. I don't think I have a choice. Of course you do. My friends and I will find another avenue. No. Eugene, that's not what I meant. There is no back to normal. We know what we know. And because of that, things have to change. Yep. Whatever we find, whatever comes our way, you will not face alone. I'll be by your side, hell or high water. Oh. Against all laws of the cosmos and humankind, we found one another. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. <laughs> And we are seeing it happening so, on screen. We have time to get attached to them. Not like Negan and his woman. Are they gonna kill you just like that? Or. You know, if they are interrogating her. Commonwealth? 
No! No, 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 you know the rule, no trailer, no spoiler. I'm not sure of the addition that she can be into the Commonwealth. I mean, okay, she's good, she has a lot of good skills, so maybe they can use her, like they use right now Daryl and Rosita. She can be good at that job. But the fact that she stole you all of these guns, more important, that she knows that secret about the fact that you lost all of these guns and all, I'm not sure that you want someone like her working for you. The fact that she knows stuff about Daryl, that she can be one of his weaknesses, that it can be bad for us, but at the same time, for me really, you know, Daryl letting her go after all of the things about pop group, I really thought that it was a real good end for this character. I really thought that, you know, it was a good end for this group and also for this character and the relationship that she had with Daryl. The fact that for me, after all of what they lived, they can't be together and at least he's letting her go, he's letting her free and she can begin a new life and maybe change, you know, because all of what she was doing with pop group, it was not that good, you know, even if she was trying to protect her people. I don't know, I really thought that it was a good end for her character and for their relationship too. So to imagine to have her back into the show, I'm like, what can she bring into the show? And to imagine to have her back for their relationship, I'm like, what it can be now like for Daryl to have her back, how he's gonna react, what he's gonna do with that, with her. I have more answers about what they can do with her to manipulate Daryl more than what Daryl is gonna want to do with her. This episode was cool, except for the fact that I didn't have the subtitles and that was a little more complicated for me. But for me it was not like an important episode for itself. It's a good transition episode. You know, it was a good episode to have a transition between some faces, some steps of the stories. We need to have this episode to have that step about Mercer being more involved with us, being one of our allies, at some point switching against the Commonwealth, at least against the Midtons, something like that. The same for his sister and the fact that she's doing that for Eugene and both of them, it's because of the fact that they know the truth and they don't want to lie about it, they don't want to, to play, to, to live like they don't know it. So that was a good episode of transition for that. So when they're gonna switch, they're gonna change, they're gonna do stuff for all guys, we're gonna know what, because we had this episode to know it. For the story about King, you know, and what he did with the doctor, that illegal clinic, maybe we can use it later. You know, I'm thinking about the illegal clinic. Maybe if this illegal clinic would be discovered, you know, and would be destroyed, maybe people are gonna get mad, maybe... I think that that story was interesting for the fact that they are telling us that this illegal clinic exists and maybe at some point it can be discovered, it can be destroyed, it can be in danger and because of that the king but also Carol is gonna be, you know, in danger, you know, that's gonna be a risk for them because they participated to it and you know for Carol also the fact that she's supposed to work with Lance if at some point she would learn that they're gonna destroy that clinic, is she gonna say it or not? Is she gonna be discovered or not as the spy that she is right now? You know, maybe that part of the story can be interesting for that. Also for sure for the fact that King is feeling better and found a job to do and a good one. That was a good use also of the doctor. I can't remember his name, but we add a little of him sometimes in some episodes, one episode with him and four episodes without him. So it's nice to have him again, to use him a little. And also that was great for Carol to show us that Carol, oh, we know her character, how 
destroyed she is inside, how conflicted also she is inside and the fact that she has also such a low esteem of herself and of her future. Really Carol, for me, it's someone who doesn't believe that she she's gonna have a future, she's gonna have a bright future. I don't know what she's feeling inside, you know, if it's something like one day at a time or it's just I'm protecting my people and I don't care about the rest. If I have to die tomorrow, I have to die tomorrow because of that. I think that it's a mix of that, in fact, for Carol. I don't know if at some point she can really find herself the future. She accepted it at some point when she had King, you know, when they were into a relationship with Henry. And really, when Henry died, she lost hope on having a future, a good one. And since then, I have the impression that she never projected herself into a future, not with someone, but just to be alive, like what is gonna happen in one year, in two years, like she's not projecting herself anymore. It could be great, you know, to change that at some point. And of course, we have all of this story with Daryl, Lance, Maggie, all of them. That was great, that was well done because of two things, because of the fact that the writers made a lot of different scenes to build the pressure, the tension. So when at the end, we have that moment with him trying to manipulate her show and it's not functioning, Elijah is intervening, everyone is pointing guns at everyone. Because of the fact that they took the time before to build a certain tension, during that scene, we are in stress. We are like, no, we don't want that to happen, that guy is insane, we don't know how it's gonna end. Because of that, we can be like that. But if you are just thinking about it, like, if we don't have all of this preparation, if we don't have all of these scenes before, like all of the scenes with the car, if we don't have that, we're only gonna be like, no, it's not gonna tell people to, to kill Maggie and all, like during that moment, it means no sense. Yes, you searched the place, you did not find anyone. You want to use that place here on top at some point, so you don't want to kill all of them. No, he's not gonna do it, for sure, it's gonna end like that, like, really quick. Just in a logical way, you are making that scene, I'm gonna react like that, I'm gonna say, no, no one is gonna kill anyone, I'm not gonna be afraid for that moment. But because of the fact that during the rest of the episode, they built that tension, I can believe into it during some seconds, and I can be in stress, afraid for them during some seconds, and the scene on itself, it's functioning. Again, they didn't do it during the last episode with Negan and Hershaw and that's why that scene is not functioning because you didn't take the time at all to build that pressure, that tension. And for me, really, it's functioning. All of that story during this episode is functioning because of the fact that they are taking the time to do it, to write it, to build that pressure, but also a lot because of that actor who has so many different, I was gonna say expressions, but he doesn't have so many expressions in fact. In fact, everything he's into is eyes. His eyes are so expressive, really, during all of these scenes, all along the scene itself, his eyes changed of expressions each time with different feelings he was playing with them, he was manipulating them, he was cold, he was trying to understand stuff, he was thinking about what was happening, he was thinking of a way out, it was... Everything happened really with the eyes. This actor is really, really, really good. For Darian, I didn't have any doubts about the fact that he was gonna be on our side. Okay, right there, he's wearing that uniform and he's obeying to these orders, you know, to intervene inside. But it's because of the fact that he doesn't want them to attack the place. And at the end, he knows Maggie, Maggie knows him. I didn't think at any point that he was against us. And in fact, it's well done, the fact that outside, you know, he's wearing that uniform. And when he's inside after that, when he's intervening into that scene, he doesn't wear it anymore. He's again on the other side with our guys. 
Herschel, I didn't have any doubt about the fact that he was not gonna say the truth. Maggie, that was really great, that moment with Maggie being like, other people tried to threaten my family and they paid for it. Just try, just try. <laughs> that was good. I saw also, you know, the, the fuck moment that Dario had and it was against Lance. Is he gonna pay for that, you know? I don't think so. Well, that was nice, you know, to have him, Dario, being really mad during that moment at Lance. It felt great. Okay, that was a good episode, but like I said, that was really an episode of transition between different stuff, different steps that we need to have. It's a good episode to explain, I think, what is gonna happen later. Mercer and his sister are gonna join us why something is gonna happen to that illegal clinic, why, you know, Maggie right there, she's gonna really go against Lance because you already attacked her right there into her own place, searching for people into this place when she told you that they were not there and you tried to manipulate her son. Same, you know, for Leah. I don't know really what they can do with her. I think that they're gonna use her and Lance is gonna use her, but not, you know, into the common wars. I really have trouble to imagine her into the common wars. We'll see if I'm right or wrong about that. Tell me what did you think about this episode? Again, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna try during the editing to find for you subtitles. So me, I didn't have subtitles, but you, at least you're gonna have them. I can't promise you that. So if I didn't find any subtitles, if you had this reaction video without subtitles, just know that I'm really sorry and that I tried my best during all of the day, but I did not find them. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I really hope that I'm not gonna have the same issue for the next episode, which is gonna be the last one, you know, of that second part, and then we're gonna have to wait to have the third part. This season, this final season, really, uh, I don't understand it. How they are promoting it, how they are broadcasting it, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop right there. It's all for you and for me for today, so it's all for me for now. So bye for now, bye. Wait a minute. Why am I doc? Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.